Well, I found a trail, guys. Coastal Trail, Te Wu Le section. So which one do I do? Three miles, three, three point one, four point two. Flint Ridge CG, whatever that means. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It took me a while to find it. It's about one thirty. Let's do uh, four point two. Fridge, Flint, Flint Bridge. So we're on it. We're doing it. All right. My, my kids asked me, Mom, what are you going to do if you see a bear? Or worse, what are you going to do if you see a bad guy? Well, I got a little protection in my pocket. If it doesn't scare them away, it should. But uh, that's my favorite part of, that's my favorite part of, of hiking. It's the quiet. Listen, what do you hear? Just birds. That's it. Nothing. Yeah, you hear the ocean in the background. You probably can't hear the ocean, but you know, this is my this is my favorite part of of hiking. I can't wait sometimes just to get away from people and to be by myself. You know. I took the Flint. I think it was called Flint Ridge Trail. I took that one. It's four point three miles. So, and it's one o'clock. So I should have plenty of time to get this one done. But. There's the ocean. You can see how beautiful it is. And you know, it's because I'm walking, the camera is not steady there. Something they call when you vlog. It's called some kind of a stabilizer thing. I'm going to get one. But you know, when I, I started doing this, kids say, well, mom, what are you, what are you doing this for? You know, what are you doing this for? And you know, when I first started, I thought, you know, dad passed away in December and Mom passed away the September before that. And back in the day, we used to have the the 8 millimeter video, you know, um, video camera. And then they went to those great, big, huge, bulky things back in the 80s. And, you know, now they got phones. And, you know, I don't have any video of Mom, any videos of Dad that, you know, you can kind of look through. And, you know, my my son got killed when he was 18 in, in an auto accident. That was years ago, too. But, you know... You don't have any, back in Steve, when Steve was still alive, they didn't have any videos. So I, I have no, no videos of what my, my son looked like. You know, and, and I have to shut my eyes sometimes because it's been 27, 28 years now. Um, sometimes I have to shut my eyes to just remember what he looked like, you know. So I thank God I got pictures, but I'm coming to a viewpoint up here. But, but you know, I think I started doing this because I wanted, I wanted to have something that was set in stone that the kids could watch and say, you know, that's my mom or, or my grand, my grandkids can say, you know, that was Gammy Gammy and my little grandson, he's a, he's two and he's a Gammy 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 Gammy. Every time my daughter says Gammy Gammy, boy, he's a looking for me. And so I think I'm doing this for, I, know, I thought for at first selfish reasons, but I don't think so. I think it's a, uh, it's, I would like my children to uh, remember, you know, who I am like to remember what kind of a person I was and 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 in the same breath and you got to be active because at 65 sometimes your bones don't work like they should you know so you got to stay active and you know my older sister she had a rude awakening a little bit ago and she's a couple years older than me and now her and her son I mean her and her husband Carl they're hiking all the time with their dog and getting some activity and, and getting some exercise because man I told you Leela if you don't get some exercise. You, God, you're going to fall apart in a handbasket, you know, because none of us were real good to our bodies back in the day, you know, back in the 70s. Oh, God, it was a nightmare. You know, Vietnam War and oh, it was just a nightmare. So anyway, but that, that's why I'm doing this. I want my, my children, my great-grandchildren to maybe find me on YouTube and say, oh, my gosh, that's my grandma, you know, or, or my daughter can say, you know what, this is your, this is your grandma. This is what your grandma did. You know, this is what your great-grandma did. And and maybe they'll get a little something out of it. I hope, I hope they get a little something out of it. Cause you know, I get a lot out of it. And, and you know, like I said, got a hundred times before, man, I don't like how older I get, the less I like people, you know, <sighs> it's a struggle. But anyway, this is what I like. So I'm going to listen to some peace and quiet for a little bit and I'll catch up with you guys. Well, I didn't want to say anything while I walked by him, but here I'm on this trail and there's a, uh, 
California California uh, fire truck with like six guys and they're all having their lunch and they're kind of hanging out. Can you see that truck back there? I thought that was kind of cool. I went, oh my gosh, way out here and I'm probably, geez, at least two miles in. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Though. Oh my gosh, they were all excited to see me all laying down in the grass, a couple girls and oh, four, must be four, at least four or five guys are all hanging, hanging out and taking a rest. Well, good for them. I tell you what, California's been a disaster here in the last couple years, and thank God we have them. So, I don't know, maybe they're practicing. I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, that's a, that's what a surprise when I came around that corner. <laughs> you know, we were talking about fires. The uh, North Complex fire in California was, they say, one of the worst fires in California history. It killed a... 11 people, but I was looking, doing some research earlier and it said, and I asked how many, how many actually people in, in uh, California died from the results of a, of a fire. And it said that 86 people in 2020 alone were killed in a, uh, in a, a fire in California. You know, those are somebody's kids, somebody's mother, somebody's brother, somebody's daughter. My gosh, what a sad thing, you know? And, Thank God they have, they have those, you know, those firefighters. Thank God we do, because I don't know how many people would have, would have died if we didn't have them. So I'm pretty, pretty happy, and we all should be pretty happy. Going down this little hill here, it looks like it's getting a little rocky here now. So we'll see what happens. We're still right out, right along the coast, and that's pretty good. I can still hear the, hear the water, and I can actually still see it over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Still see it. If you're a if you're a firefighter, a first responder, anyone, any truck drivers, even restaurants, hotels, all those people that were impacted by the by the fires. If you're police officers, oh thank God for police officers. You know, I just personally, me and a million other people just remember there's a million of us out there that just I want to thank every bone in your body for doing this. Because if it wasn't for you, this world would just be a S-H-I-T hole. So thank God, you guys. Thank God. Well, as you can see, my trail got considerably skinnier. I don't know what happened, but I want to point something out to you guys. I've been walking through... That stuff right there. That's a stinger nettle. And oh my gosh. You know, it burns like heck when it hits on your hand, but I was hiking once back. I must have been in my 30s or so. I remember it just like it was yesterday. There I'm hiking with one of my husbands. I don't know which one he was, but anyway, I had to go to the bathroom. So I'm hiding in this little hidey hole and I squat to go pee. And sure enough, my little fanny lands on a, a bunch of those stinger nettles. O-M-G. I, I thought I was going to cry. Talk about painful. <laughs> I think it's funny now, but it sure the heck wasn't. Look at them. They're everywhere. It's like I have to heat my, hold my hands up to keep from, from getting on them. Look at those little suckers are everywhere. Oh. So I don't know if the trail's like this for too much longer. I might, I might uh, turn around. I'd, I'd have to look at my phone because, of course, I'm using it to, to videotape, but. I don't know how many miles I went, but it's a, the point shouldn't be that much farther ahead. Seems like I've been going forever, but oh, the trail's not too bad now, so maybe I'll be okay. made it. Look at that. Had a couple of hills that were a little bit of a struggle, but not too bad. Not too bad. Well, and it was uphill down near all the way. Maybe not all the way, but so I think it should be pretty easy, easy peasy going down.
So I'm going to take a minute, have a drink of water, and get back on it. You know, I get questions on my Betty Bear Nomadic Travel Channel. People say, what, what, what about being a nomad is appealing to you, and why do people do it? You know, I started watching Bob Wells, Cheap RV Living, and I wanted to do this for years and years and years. So, geez, Bob must have been only doing it for four or five years when I started watching his channel. But, of course, I couldn't, and I had obligations, and then I had to take care of Mom and Dad for almost four years. And, you know, as you guys know, Dad passed away in December. And so I sat back, and that's when I started building this, of course, started building this tiny house when I was, when Dad was ill and I got a little bit of time to do a little work at a time on the thing so anyway uh, so people ask me why why do I want to do this and I, I think the only thing I can say is that I love the and you know it's almost ironic that everybody says oh freedom 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 you just love that that's exactly what it is there is no other word for it but the freedom of waking up in the morning it's so funny this morning <laughs> This morning I got up on the Oregon coast and I mean on the California coast and I got up and I looked out the door and I'm going, oh, because I for actually forgot where I was. It's so funny that when you do that enough, it's like, well, you know, like, um, uh, camper, uh, let's see, no, wait, uh, adventure van man. Uh, he would, he talked about he's got a new box van. So, and, uh, check out his YouTube channel. It's pretty awesome. Along with, uh, cheap RV living with, uh, with Bob Wells. But anyway, he bought a new box van and, he was driving down the road and he says, you know, it's so funny that I don't understand why sometimes I forget what state I'm in. I definitely forget, I forget where I'm at until you open up the door and then you go, oh, this is where I'm at. I forgot this is where I parked last night. So I think that's one of the amazing things that I enjoy about it is that, is that you can go within reason. It's not easy. I'm telling you, sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes you, these pictures of of the vans and they're out in the water and they're, they're sitting on their bed and they're relaxing. I mean, I took a picture like that today, but I had to stage it. I mean, I literally had to find a pull off that I could pull off of besides the one that I woke up at because I was kind of cockeyed. But Southern Oregon, there's a lot of places to pull off and uh, camp overnight. But you're camping next to the highway and uh, of course you got a chance of somebody hitting you, but they got some pretty good pull offs in Southern Oregon where you can camp overnight northern part of Oregon, there was nothing. So I kind of had to stage it today and I pulled up into this big place and I backed up and I sat on my bed and I was going to put my feet out and the lighting was so bad in the trailer I couldn't get, I couldn't get a good shot. So I thought I did all this work for, for nothing. But you know, it is a struggle sometimes. It's a struggle to find a place to park. And it's a struggle with fuel. It's a struggle with breakdowns. I just had $5,300 worth of rear end work to my my really sweet Ford F-150. Of course, we know it's almost 20 years old. And then I got that done, and then I had the, the front, I had some front work done, and, and that was, what was it? Six or seven hundred bucks or something like that. So, but I'm good as new for a while. So I guess that's a good thing. But you know, you can't, you can't do this and buy a box trailer and, and not have, not have any money. And Bob tells you that. And I mean, they'll all tell you that you have to have a little bit of reserve in in your pocket. Yeah, you just can't go without any money because if a breakdown happens, you're, you are really, really screwed. But, but again, why I do it is because I do like being by myself. I love being by myself and I like vlogging when there's nobody around. I don't, I'm not looking at anybody. It's like I'm talking to you and I'm trying to relay to you what my thoughts are. This is how I feel. And I'm looking like right at a person. And really I'm not. I'm talking to whoever happens to want to listen. But that's why I do it. I do it because I love it. I love, love, love my tiny house. It's perfect for me. I stopped at the gas station yesterday and the gas station guy in Oregon says, well, what's inside, what's fun inside your trailer? And I said, my home. And he looks at me, he goes, what? And I said, yeah, my home. And I said, do you want to look at it? And he goes, oh my gosh, yeah. So I opened up the door in my little home and he's like, whoa, that is so cool. Because I told him there was a bathroom in there and there was a kitchen, a sink, a living room, a dining room, and a bedroom, you know, all in the six by 10. But he got a big charge out of it. And of course, I get a big charge out of, out of showing it to someone too. So anyway, I think I'm getting pretty close to, pretty close to the, uh, the tiny house. So, well, there's my little tiny house. You can see him over there. She's waiting for me. I made it. I had a, a wonderful, 
wonderful time talking to you guys. I appreciate each and every, each and every one of you. So, if you got it this far and enjoyed my channel, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Thanks again, each and every one of you for sticking around this long. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Tiny house, tiny house.